Thank you for calling Social Security Administration. How can I help you? Um, I'm not sure. I just received some sort of call to call you guys back. Okay, so, so first of all, can you help me out with your first and your last name? Uh, my first name is Haywood. H-A-Y-W-O-O-D. Okay. And the last name is Jablomi. J-A-B-L-O-W-M-E. Haywood Jablomi. All right, so, so you receive a call in your home phone or cell phone number? I only have a cell phone. The same calling number, right? Yes, ma'am. 813-222-6148. You are correct. All right, so, so uh, in that phone call that you received this morning, did they left you any kind of a reference number or the case ID? No, actually the, the message didn't come clearly through. I heard Social Security and, I, and then the number and I just called back. Okay. It wasn't so clear. So as you said that you don't have the reference number, so in order to pull out the file from the system here, you need to verify me with your social security number. My social security number. Uh, I'm kind of concerned about you. All right. Um, yes, it's 292-684086. 292-684086. Okay, so just hold on the line for a moment, sir. Let me pull out the file here so that I can explain it to you. Uh, All right? y yes, ma'am. Thank you. Are you there? Yes, I'm here, ma'am. Yes, thanks for holding the line, sir. So, sir, are you sure that you received the call on the same calling number? Mm. Yes, this is my only telephone. All right, and your first name again, sir? Haywood. H-A-Y-W-O-O-D. Haywood. Last name is Jablomi. Okay. J-A-B-L-O-W-M-E. Haywood Jablomi. All right. And sir, so can you verify me your street address? Yes, ma'am. It's on number 93 Ingram Street. I N G R A M Street. It's in Bowling Brook, Georgia. And the zip code? Uh, three one zero zero four. All right, just hold on the line for a moment, sir. Okay. Thank you. Hello, sir. Yes, ma'am. Yes, thanks for holding the line. So, sir, I have pulled out the file from the system here. Okay. And as you can see here in the file that there is a case of money laundering and drugs trafficking under your name and your personal social information. Did so you just say like money you know laundering and drug trafficking? Yes. What does that mean? I will explain it to you step by step, but before that, I would like you to grab a pen and a paper handy so that you can note down your case ID. Okay. And what's your name? What the heck? Fire RTC just hung up on me. Oh, are you kidding me? Fire RTC just shit the bed on me. Oh, come on. Yeah, it's messed up. Thank you for calling Social Security Administration. How can I help you? Yes, hello. I got a message right now. It told me to call this number. Okay, so, so in that message that you received, did they left you any reference number or the case ID? No, ma'am, they didn't leave anything. And please, uh, I have a speech impediment and I'm a little slow. 
So can you please bear with me? And have patience. Uh, I got a message, yes. Sorry, sir? I got a message. It told me to call something about my social security. Okay, so first of all, can you help me out with your first and your last name? Yes, my first name is Neil. N-E-I-L, Neil. Your last name? And suck it. A-N-S-U-K-I-T. Neil and suck it. Okay, and so you receive a call in your home phone or cell phone number? Yes, this is my cell phone number. All right. And so as you said that you don't have the reference number, so in order to pull out the file from the system here, you need to verify me with your social security number. I don't know my social security number. I have to go look at it. Okay, take your time. I'm holding the line here. Okay, hold on. Okay, I, I, I hold on here. I guess in my wallet. All right. Okay, hold on. When my mom and my dad died, they left me my, my money and my security card in my wallet. Okay. Um, it's zero, four, five, six, eight, zero, nine, five, five. Okay, can you repeat it one more time? Zero, four, five, six, eight, zero, nine, five, five. Mm-hmm. Hello? Yes, I'm here, yes. I'm asking you, can you repeat it one more time, your social security number, so that I will know I've got it correctly or not? Yes, zero, four, five, six, eight, zero, nine, five, five. Okay, and can you spell me your last name again, sir? Yes, it and suck it. A N S U. K I T Neil and suck it. All right, and can you help me out with your street address? Uh, yes, I live at number fifteen Counts Lane. Is I uh, Counts Lane? That's where my mom and dad bought the house before they died. Fifteen Counts Lane. And Dad, I, I live in Connecticut. And is it good? Um, ho hold on. I got to look at the mail. Hold on. I don't know oh. my... Oh, it's zero, six, three, six, zero. Okay, one more time. Can you repeat me? Is it good? Zero, six, three, six, zero. All right, thank you for the information. So just stay on the line, let me pull out the file here so that I can explain it to you, okay? Oh, oh, oh okay, ma'am. Thank you. Are you there? Yes, ma'am, I'm here. Yes, thanks for holding the line, sir. So you receive a call in the same calling number, right? Which is 603. Seven five one four one zero four. Correct. Yes, that's the number my my mom and dad gave me on my fourteenth birthday. Yes. 
Okay, so so this is the only number that you have? Is this a home phone or a cell phone number? Yes, this is my cell phone. It's the only phone I have. The only phone you have, right? Yes, it's the only phone I have. Yes, ma'am. All right, so, so I pull out the file from the system here and... Now, can you grab a pen and a paper handy so that you can note down your case ID? A pen and a paper. Okay, hold on, ma'am. Hold on. All right, sir. Take your time. Uh, I can only find a pencil, but it, it'll work. Okay, what 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 is what what do I need to write down? The case ID. Okay. Case ID. It is the number two one zero. Two one zero. Nine one five. Nine one five. Dash one three. Let me repeat two one zero nine one five dash one three. What what number is dash? I don't dash. know how to write dash. You don't know how to write dash? No. Okay, you just write 210915, then give a space, and then write 13. 13. Okay, so 21091513. Yes. So, so see, as I can see, here in the file that there is a case of money laundering and drugs trafficking under your name. And this incident took place in the state of Texas. What, what, All what, right? uh, I don't know what that means. What does that mean? It means that there is a case of money laundering, which means that blank money and drugs trafficking, where you used to supply drugs, sells drugs. Trucks? I like trucks. I like fire trucks and dump trucks. I like big trucks. I'm not talking about trucks, sir. It is drugs. No, no, no. I don't do drugs. No, no. Drugs are bad. Nancy Reagan said, just say no. Don't do drugs. No to drugs. Okay, no, no, so no, no. Have you no. been to the state of Texas, sir? No, I, I've never been to Texas. No, I, I don't leave my house. Okay, so you are living all by yourself or someone is there with you, looking after you? No, my, my brother Justin, my brother Justin, he lives with me, but he's not home right now. Okay, so, so did you provide your social to anyone, I mean to any stranger? Like to any of the website and the computer? Or I had don't. you ever lost your social security card, your wallet, driver's license, or the yeah, Medicare but card about in the two, past? two years ago, we went to Niagara Falls in New York, and and I lost my wallet when we went on vacation to Niagara Falls. All right. So, so see, as I can see in the file, as I told you, that there is the case of money laundering and drugs trafficking under your name. And as for now, you have been counted as the criminal. Okay. 
So I let me know. read out the effort a bit so that you will understand the whole situation. All right? Oh, okay. So, so see, the effort a bit states that your social has been found suspicious for criminal activities that is in the state of Texas and there were two allegations filed against you. The allegations are count one violation of money laundering act and count two violations of drugs trafficking act. As per the documentation, the investigation started when we found an abandoned car on the south border of Texas and the car contained some blood and drugs residues inside it. After the investigation, we found that the car was rented on your name and on your personal social information. So there were two addresses linked with the title of the rented vehicle and one of the address which is in the city of Roland and which was raided by the U.S. Marshal. But unfortunately, there was no one inside the residence. So they have recovered 22 pounds of cocaine, which is an abusive drugs and some documentation from different financial institutes such as the Chase Bank, Bank of America, U.S. Bank, Wells Fargo, etc. And this entire paperwork has your name on it. And thousands of dollars has been transferred from these bank accounts locally and internationally. And this seems suspicious to the government. So that is the reason why the Federal Crime and Investigation Department of the State of Texas has filed a case against you for drugs trafficking and money laundering. So now do you have any question regarding this case and your criminal activities? Uh, uh, I I don't understand what you're saying. I I I don't understand. What what do you mean? Okay. First of all, I would like to know that. Do you drive, sir? Do you have a driver's license? No, ma'am. I I am I am handicapped. I can't drive. I my brother drives me everywhere. My brother Neil. Neil and suck it. He drives me everywhere. Okay. He'll be home in, so fi in, in a few minutes, I think. I don't know when he went to the store. He will be home. Okay. So, sir, as I can see here in the file that you are having more than 19 bank accounts on your name. So, is that true? Do you have 19 bank accounts? No, ma'am. I have one bank account that my mom and dad had before they died. They left me. <laughs> I miss my mom and dad so much. <laughs> uh, yeah, they left me a lot of money, and and they put it in the Bank of America. They left me me about two million dollars so I have it for the rest of my life. You miss your mom, you miss your dad? Yes, my mom and dad died like four years ago from an accident. Okay, I'm so sorry for that, sir. I'm so, so sorry. So my brother Neil has been taking care of me because I'm not, I'm, I, I got some, some problems with my voice and my speech and I can't walk too good. Okay. So, sir, let me do one thing. Let me have a word with the senior supervisor here. And once I got the update, I will be back. So you need to hold on the line, all I right? I just don't want to get in any trouble because my brother, he takes care of me. and He's such a good man. And he goes every year. He's leaving in three months to go to, to the, another country to help the children. And I'm going to be left all alone with the caretaker. He's going to India to help the children in India. In which place? He's going to India. He's going to go to this place called New Delhi and he's going to help the orphan children. All 
right. Okay, so, so just stay on the line. Let me have a word with the senior supervisor here, and I will be back with the updates, okay? Okay, ma'am. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Hey Luke, I'm not sure. I just got some sort of message to call this number back. Okay, so do you have any case ID or reference ID from the message? Um, I'm not sure. It was kind of broken up and I just called it right back. Okay, alright, no problem, sir. Can you provide me your name and your social security number? My name, yeah, my first name is Haywood, H-A-Y-W-O-O-D. <laughs> And, yeah. and can I have a phone number on which you received the phone call on? Was it your home phone or was it your cell phone? I don't know, but your your VoIP is breaking up. You're, you're breaking up when you're talking. Okay. Well, then let me do one thing, sir. Let me arrange a call back for you. I'm going to go to the house. 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 Administration Officer Sean Marshall, how can I help you? You can't get a lot of money. 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 तेरे मरीज़ को खा गए, बच्चे कुछ एक और खाएंगे, और तेरी माँ में दम है, तेरी गांड में दम है, तेरे बहुत ठीक है, किसी बाप में दम है, तम में, तो उससे बोलिए वो खा ले। कुछ नहीं गाली तेरे। लड़की के बीच, सुनाई दिया? दुबारा कॉल करिए, तेरी बहन को दुबारा चोदूँगा। तेरी माँ को चोदूँ Hello? Yes, hello sir, when did you receive the call? I will give you my mom and I will give you my mom and I will give you my mom. I will give you my mom and I will give you my mom and I will give you my mom. I will give you my mom and I will give you my mom. तो जब मरीज़ को खा गए, बच्चे कुछ एक और खाएंगे, और तेरी माँ में दम है, तेरी गांड में दम है, तेरे बहुत ठीक है, किसी बाप में दम है, तम में, तो उससे बोलिए वो खा ले, जो खा सकता है, लंडी के बीच, सुनाई दिया? दुबारा कॉल करिए, तेरी बहन को दुबारा चोदूँगा, ठीक है? जितनी बार क Oh, these fucking social security people suck. You have reached the Social Security Administration. How can I help you? Teddy Maake Bosara Gandu Chuti Amata Chod. What? You Gandu. What did you say? You Gandu. What did you say? You Gandu. You're a Bakadu Chod. What's that? You're a rat. Oh, you're Naga. You're from Nagaland. What? You're from Nagaland? A Naga. What is that? What tribe? Sumi? Ao? Mao? Agami? What tribe? I can understand what you say. Why are you scamming? You're giving your Naga people a bad name. Bad name? What bad name? What do you mean, what bad name? You're scamming. You, the Naga people have a good name. Good, good, good culture. Good people. 
proud people, and you're scamming for the Hindus? Are you fucking stupid? Why are you scamming for the Hindus? Sorry, you're fucking I'm scamming for the Hindus. Yeah, you're the Hindus. Are you? You're scamming are you for the. You're the scamming for the Hindus. You're, you're you're working for Hindu people. You're Christian. You're fucking Northeast. What are you doing? What do you mean by fucking Northeast? You are from the Northeast. You are from either Nagaland, Shlong, Manipur, Mizoram. One of those places you are from. No, sir. I can understand what you're trying to say, but this is not a scam. Give me my cocaine back then. You took my cocaine. Give me my cocaine. Give it to me. Your cocaine. Yeah, uh, you, I, left it, I left it in the house. You raided my house in Texas. You took my cocaine. It's in your script. It's in your script. It's right there in front of you. You took it. <laughs> you took my <laughs> cocaine. You went into my house. Mm -hmm. You found blood and, 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 and drug residue along with my social security card in mm -hmm. a rented car. What kind of car is it today? Is it a Toyota Corolla? What car do you have? Well, what car, did, what car is on your script? It's down the script. Huh? What car is on your script? Give me the VN number that's on your script of the car that you found in Texas. Okay, what is your car's name? Well, I don't know. Is it a, Toy is it a Toyota Corolla? No, no, it's not a Toyota. What kind of car is it today? What kind of car do you have? A uh, Maserati. Oh, that is exactly is it the car. And the win number is? Give me my cocaine, Marichode. I want my cocaine. What should I give you that cocaine? Because you took it. What tribe are you? Are you Sumi tribe or Mao? I can't understand what he's saying. Oh my god, you are so Naga. Oh my god. You so are, Naga. You are What's so that? Naga. Oh, you can't even admit it, can you? And what are you saying, so Naga? What does yeah, that mean? I have a friend. I have a friend that loves to listen to your Naga accent. Mm-hmm. And what? Where are what, you now what? exactly? What? What? Oh, where are you now exactly? Plug this in. Where am I? I'm in Moko Chung. Mm -hmm. I'm in Moko Chung. I was going to go to Kohima, but I'm in Moko Chung right now. Mm. I'm getting ready for the Hornbill Festival. Mm. So why are you scamming for the Hindus? Why are you doing it, man? Why are you doing it? You're giving your people a bad name. Mm -hmm. huh? Why you do it? You, know, you know they use you. They call you Chinky. They sit there in their office and they call you Chinky behind your back. They say, ah, look at the chinky. He's coming in to make us the money. He's going to scam for us. That's what they say, dude. And you sit there and you take it for your little, maybe what, 15,000 rupee a month that you haven't even got paid yet because this is your first week. So what are you going to do? You're going to keep scamming or you're going to go and try to find a better job? Can you get me one then? Um, why should I, as another human being, provide something for you that you are incapable enough for doing yourself? I live in America. You're in fucking India. Mm -hmm. What do you want? Mm -hmm. What do you want me to do? Oh, you mean that I'm a shit? You tell me that. You can you give me? Can you provide me? Job, not. No, I can provide you advice, mm -hmm. but I can't provide you a job. I mean, I'm sure your parents raised you very well, because most Naga parents raise their children very well. Naga, what do you mean by Naga? Oh, stop, 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 stop with that, stop with that. Then tell me where you were born and what, what state you're from in India. And I, I guarantee you're northeast and you're right on the border of China. And you're down in Mumbai or New Delhi right now working for the Hindus. Or Gujarat, or Noida, or one of these fucking scamming places. 
Do you know how many Nagas I talk to every day that are scamming, doing all different kinds of scams? Do you know how many? So why don't you just please, please, don't give up on yourself and and and, and go and and go and look, keep looking. You just started this job because you're not good at it. And your English isn't very good either. You still there? I don't hear you. Shit bag. I'll call you back. 